President-elect Joe Biden with a stark warning. I'm going to tell it to you straight. I'm going to tell you the truth. And here's the simple truth. Our darkest days in the battle against COVID are ahead of us, not behind us. Biden telling Americans the upcoming holidays will once again look a lot different for his family, too, saying there is no time to waste in taking steps to turn the crisis around, outlining the challenges he will face on his first day in office, now just four weeks away. The president-elect was asked if after inauguration he expects any type of honeymoon from Congress. I don't think it's a honeymoon at all. I think it's a nightmare that everybody's going through and they all say it's got to end. It's not a honeymoon. And he said it's a nightmare Democrats and Republicans across this country are going through together. Biden saying Congress did its job this week, but expecting them to do even more for Americans in the new year. It took more than six months for Congress to reach this new deal. How can you assure Americans that relief will come and come soon? I predict you will get cooperation and get that done. Will your plan include a new round of stimulus checks to the American people? And if yes. so, for how much? Well, look, that's a, that's a negotiating issue, but it will. Yes, it will. His sharpest words for President Trump on the issue of that unprecedented cyber attack on the U.S. government and many U.S. companies. Biden blasting the president for failing to respond when Trump's own team, his secretary of state and AG, have pointed to Russia. This assault happened on Donald Trump's watch when he wasn't watching. It's still his responsibility as president to defend American interests for the next four weeks. But rest assured that even if he does not take it seriously, I will. Let's get right to Rachel. Rachel, you were on the air with me this afternoon as we watched the president-elect Joe Biden putting pressure on the current president to single out Russia in this massive cyber attack, also pledging to get more COVID relief to the American people after inauguration, saying that what we saw this week is just the start. But Rachel, I know there's also news coming in tonight on Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's Senate seat, uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom calling Alex Padilla, who's the current California Secretary of State, to ask him to serve in the Senate to replace her. Uh, Padilla, clearly emotional there, saying he was honored, humbled because of his parents, immigrants from Mexico, his dad working as a cook, uh, his mom as a house cleaner. And Rachel, this appointment is history making. It is, David. Padilla will be California's first Latino senator. But the departure of Kamala Harris does leave a void there in the chamber. Harris was the only black woman currently serving in the U.S.